What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Retro Quo and today we're going to talk about how to be influential and how to be famous in the same video. It's going to be awesome. So why am I talking about these two things in the same video? It's because uh, one, I have a tip for being, how to be more influential, which is making a deeper influence on someone's life. And two, I'm going to talk about how to be famous. Keep in mind when you watch this video that these are just two tips and there's so many different ways to be influential and famous out there and uh, these are the two that really resonate with me and I want to share that with you right now. All right, so let's dive deep. First one is influence. How do you be more influential in your life? How do you influence your peers, your, your parents, uh, the people around you? How do you lead people? And the best way to do it, in my opinion, is to lead by over the past one and a half years of making YouTube videos, I've come to realize that the most impactful videos I've made in the past year and a half have been the videos where I've lived them and I've actually done them. I think a really good example of influential is my video game addiction YouTube videos where I've lived it, I've done, I've gone through the process. So I'm role modeling this and uh, quite frankly, I'm just gonna put it out there that I can't say I'm the most influential person out there. I myself am human. I'm always growing and I'm always trying to keep a sharp mind. Being influential, again, is it's about being a role model. It's about leading by example, practicing what you preach. And I know, again, if you watch some of my older videos, sometimes I get really fired up and I get really excited in the moment and a lot of great ideas and sometimes I don't follow through on them. I could be more influential. I could be a better leader by practicing what I preach every single day. And uh, that's just what I want to give to you. I want you to think about Who's someone in your life that you find influential? Someone who inspires you? Maybe it's your mom, your brother, a sibling, a friend, or maybe it's someone famous. Who's that person? What I want you to do is I want you to think, does this person lead by example? Do they practice what they preach? Do they do as they say they do? What I found in my life is most people that I aspire to be who influence me I uh, usually practice what they preach. All right, let's talk about point number two. Point number two is how do you be famous? When I talk about how to be famous, what I'm really saying is how do you get your name out there? Because if you want to influence people, if you want to influence more people, that's where kind of that fame or getting your name out there is really important. So uh, I believe the best way to be famous, to get your name out there is to network. And not just network with anyone, network with the right people. In my life, I've been told this way too many times, hey, network, 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 network. And I've done a lot of networking in my life. That has definitely gotten me where I am today. So let me just give you a quick rundown of, uh, of my speaking. When I started my speaking business, I started trying to network with people and I met some, some small business owners who are life coaches. And uh, you know, I was, I'm like, wow, that's so cool. You own your own business, how do you do that? They were so inspiring to me. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's who I wanna be like. And the more I met more people, I realized, whoa, hold up. Oh my goodness, I can't believe there's so many amazing people out there. The more I networked, the more I, I met people, I met authors who were s selling hundreds and thousands of books. I met, uh, I met millionaires, I met billionaires. I remember when I started networking, I thought it was just about exchanging contact cards and uh, you know trying to build this business relationship. You might have heard this before, but I believe when it comes to networking, networking is about building real relationships, meaning relationships where you can just be friends with the other person. Now, I get it, there's a lot of celebrities out there and we get starstruck and it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to connect with these people like, oh my goodness, I'm so nervous, you know? This person's so famous and who am I to, to be here? Uh, but the more you network, the more you just practice just being yourself and being like, hey, dude, it's really nice to meet you. You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of yours. Uh, yeah, I'm really interested to learn more about you. Can we grab coffee? And just, if you watched my last week's video, I mentioned some of the people I, I've met. I had the opportunity to meet, uh, was that one or two weeks ago, uh, John Lee Dumas, who's the, uh, the founder of Entrepreneur on Fire. It's one of the top podcasts he, he's making. He made $500,000 last month. I met Pat Flynn. Uh, who's also another entrepreneur and podcaster. I've met Hal Elrod and all these all these other people uh, who are connected with other people. So when you build up your network, when you start to meet people, you realize, wow, because I'm connected with these people, when I'm because I have this network of amazing individuals, uh, whenever someone else who's like, hey Richard, how do I become a better speaker? I'll be like, dude, I know this guy, he's amazing. Uh, you should talk to him and uh, he will get you right 
right where you want to be. Uh, so having that network creates this power of influence uh, where not only do you help yourself succeed, but you could help other people succeed as well. All right, so let's recap real quick. One tip to become more influential is to lead by example or practice what you preach. And one tip to be more famous or get your name out there is to network with people. And when you network with people, you get to know these people and they invite you to bigger things. And when you know these people, you could do collaborations with them. You could uh, do YouTube collaborations. I know I haven't done very many of those yet. Uh, so I get to network with a lot of YouTubers out there. Woo, VidCon in a, a week or so. So whoever's going there, I'll see you there. Uh, all right, so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe and also more importantly than subscribing, please let me know if you have any questions so I could serve you better. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any future questions you want answered in a future video. Okay, thank you so much. You have a wonderful day and I love you all. Thanks, bye.